seconds. And what I mean about that is right now, uh, it looks like uh, digital frontier marketing, uh, doing business as DCG, is about to wrap up its second and potentially final uh, uh, fundraising, raise, equity raise uh, involving an LLC. This looks like that's it. And I could tell you for a fact, this will be the last time that unaccredited investors will be able to get involved with DFM. Unaccredited, an accredited investor is somebody who makes 200000 as a single person a year or 300000 as a married couple or a couple. Uh, that's an accredited investor or somebody who has a million dollars uh, net worth uh, not counting their home. That's an accredited investor. Okay, Anybody who doesn't meet that are called unaccredited investors. So right now, um, the only way that we can take in and let unaccredited investors participate in the ownership of DFM is if they get involved with this crowdfunding we're doing. And the crowdfunding is about to end. So I wanted to make sure quickly that everybody understands what the heck we're doing because there's a lot of people who have no clue. They're going, okay, I kind of kind of understand what digital frontier marketing is about, but I kind of don't. So I'm just going to take a, a few minutes here to kind of let you know what the heck we're doing and give you guys one last chance. So here we go. So what? why did we form, why did Bruce Wise and myself and my other partners form Digital Frontier Marketing? Well, simply put, well, it's it's because this whole this whole world is growing very rapidly. OK, OK, it's growing rapidly and the whole high tech space is growing rapidly. OK, now when I say one last chance, think about this. Think about it. Think it's 2002, 2003, 2004. And let's say you just heard about Amazon and you bought some shares, even publicly traded shares back then. Do you know how much those shares would be worth today? Like if you bought. You know, if you bought, say, a thousand dollars worth of Amazon shares back in early 2000s, I mean, do you have I mean, the, the amount, the value of your stock now is just enormous. If you jumped in early. In 2001, 2002, 2000, same with Facebook and eBay. I mean, Facebook didn't go public till later in the, in the 2000s, but eBay was public. You could have grabbed into some shares of eBay and just made a killing now. Same with Google. These are companies that you could have had some access to at some point and just made a fortune. So that's when I talk about I, what I want. I don't want to have happen here is, you know, like six months from now, somebody I know who knows me, maybe sees me and says, hey, you know. Hey, I've heard you guys are doing really great. Can I get in? And I had to go, no, <laughs> because we're not doing you're not doing fundraising anymore. And if they would have gotten in, you know, maybe their uh, their investments, can, you know, gone up uh, huge. Uh, and I'm going to show you why uh, we feel very strongly about what we're doing. So here is why we got involved with cryptocurrencies, because it's exploding. This is an article uh, from Forbes magazine. And it's titled Cryptocurrency. It's 1994 in cryptocurrency. And now, why would they say that? Well, let me give you one statistic here. In the beginning of 2017, in the beginning, the total market cap or the total value of all cryptocurrencies combined, all of them, was $18 billion. By the time they did this article, which was not even a year later, about 12 months, the value of cryptocurrencies had gone from $18 billion to $300 billion. $18 billion to $300 billion. As, and as this article says, only 1% of the world's population owns any cryptocurrency. Less than 1%. Wow. So less than 1% own any cryptocurrency. And the value of cryptocurrency has gone up from $18 billion 
and less than a year later, $300 billion. So what did Bruce and I decide to do? Well, we decided what were some what were the what were the issues that many cryptocurrency companies were facing? Well, most crypto companies, what they face is the fact that they're run by a bunch of techies. They have no marketing people. They have no marketing or salespeople. They don't know how to distribute. They know how to make a really cool coin or a token, but they don't know how to market. So we said, okay, well, listen, we know how to market. We have all these celebrities. I mean, my other company, uh, uh, C-Shop, we're connected with over 5,000 celebrities in the sports, music, TV, and film space. A-list, B-list, C-list. We, we know how to get celebrities to endorse stuff. We also have media. I have a partnership with a major media company that, that gets uh, radio appearances and TV appearances over 700 a month. So we could get companies media appearances and start because the key to getting a, a, a currency viable and valuable is the first step you had to do is you have to get the coins or the tokens out. You had to start. You had to do a you had to get a lot of people with the actual currency in their hands until you get a ton of people with the currency in their hands. It's not going to start moving up in value. So you got to get the coin out there. And the way you do that is by awareness. OK, then the second thing that has to happen is you have to have some type of technology event or big event that suddenly explodes the currency out in front of people. OK, and then lastly, you have to start getting the currency up on different ways of distributing the currency. You start with one exchange, then another exchange, or you get affiliates promoting it. There's a lot of ways you can actually get coins out in front of people. You could get people using the coins. You could come. You could get companies using the coins as a sales incentive. But that's the distribution. So you get awareness. You get a bunch of people using the coins and buying the coins. Then you have certain big events that occur, and then you focus on the distribution of the coins through exchanges or company use, uh, or affiliates. Those are the ways you get. And then, slowly but surely, you can start moving that price up. And then all of a sudden, a critical mass will hit, and ba-boom, all of a sudden, the price goes rocking. Now, I'll give you an example. Let's go back to Monero, okay? You see the ba-boom when the ba-boom happened? Okay? That's just one example. You can always tell when the bam-boom occurs. So Litecoin is another one, okay? Take a look at one year, low price, accumulation, ba-boom. And even now, it's still at a very high range, isn't it? Okay? So we said, okay, let's go ahead and find companies with cool stories. The first one was Cloudcoin. Why? Because they were solving the problem of transactional speed. OK, that's a huge problem right now, because the whole point of a cryptocurrency or a digital currency is for people to buy things and buy it without without having to go through the big central banks. OK, but if, if it's taking four or five hours to do a transaction with Bitcoin, that kind of doesn't solve the problem. So there are currencies using anti counterfeiting technology where the transactions are in microseconds. That's what Cloudcoin does. So we started looking for companies like Cloudcoin. We have other companies that were in negotiations now, one in the entertainment business, another one in the wallet business, another in the water business. So we're looking for coins that solve problems, but we also want the coin to be really, really low cost because we don't want to we don't want to use our services on a coin that's just selling at thirty dollars. We're looking for currencies that are under a dollar. We really like to find currencies that are under 20 cents because then we can, what we do is we don't charge them money for our services. We charge them coins. That's what we want. We want the coins. All right. So that's, that's our strategy. So right now we've been, we've now had almost 100 media appearances for Cloudcoin. 100 media appearances, TV, radio, and it's getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to tell you now, this is the first you've heard it. Next month 
in the first week of April, we are going to have CloudCoin shooting a TV segment with one of the Shark Tank guys that is going to be shown on Fox Business. Let me say that again. This is brand new. I was just with the television star today shooting another sh shooting a show with him. And I've got the commitment. It's done. I, 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 I got to call Sean up and say, Sean, you're going to be in a plane flying in to shoot a television show segment that's going to be on Fox Business with this Shark Tank star. That's pretty big news, don't you think? Pretty good? All right. So that's stage one. So digital frontier marketing is all about supplying celebrity and awareness services to start growing the usage and the acquisition of the coins, and we're getting paid at really, really cheap price. So why would we do that? Because we didn't want to just be a company where investors invested and all of a sudden you're just sitting and you're waiting for years and years and years. What we do is we're collecting the coins and we take a big portion of these coins and we distribute them to the investors. You know how many coins we've distributed in the last two distributions in the last four months to our, our investors? 19 million cloud coins we distributed. 19 million. They're pretty happy, aren't they? Because guess what? It's not like that ends. They're not going to get any more coins. They're an owner in the company. So they're going to keep on getting coins, cloud coins and other coins of other companies. Ah, they're happy, real happy. Because then as the cloud coins and these other coins become more and more liquid, they can sell their coins. Wow, that's pretty cool. They can sell a portion of their coins. Okay, so that's step one. Get a bunch of companies, provide services, get coins, distribute coins. Step two, own intellectual property. If a company, a high-tech company, owns and has patents that are really, really useful, it can explode the value of a company. Because at the end of the day, what we'd really like, I think, is we really like to build up DFN or DFM, Digital Frontier Marketing. And what we'd really like to do is have a company come along and, you know, buy the company for a whole lot of money. And then all those nice shareholders go, woohoo. All right. So, what do we decide to do on intellectual property? Well, I happen to know there's a pretty interesting field because I work with all these agents. I work with agents and agents from CAA, IMG, William Morris, you name it. And they all have one thing in common they want to make money for their stars. But do you know? That the celebrities make more money from one thing than all the money they make from the shows they're in or the sports they play. Let me introduce you to the world of collectibles and memorabilia. That's right. Here's another big article. Another one by Forbes. They're pretty good. And this article is about how big the memorabilia market is worldwide. Okay. The memorabilia market is three. Hundred and seventy billion dollars with a B. Three hundred seventy billion dollars with a B. See right there, three hundred seventy billion. There are two hundred million collectors of various types worldwide. Two hundred million. But this, and this is a huge market. Three hundred seventy billion. Give you an idea. If you add up all the revenues from all the sports and TV and movies and all the added all of music, TV, film, video games, sports. It's under $370 billion. And that tells you that celebrities make more money from selling their collectibles, baseball cards, signed autographs, signed posters, footballs, baseballs, whatever, than they make when they're actually doing what they're famous for. So What's the problem here? The problem is that in the baseball card business or the card business in the United States, the fraud rate is 33%. Uh, just, just, just think about that for a second. 33% of all sports cards are fraudulent. That's a big problem. Big problem for the agents because the agents get screamed at because if they get associated with a fraudulent card. Just think about that for a second. 
And much of the memorabilia is in digital form or picture form, posters, autographed pictures. So what does CloudCoin solve? What does blockchain solve? It solves authentication so that you can take that 33% fraud and kill it. Let me tell you, when I talk to agents about this, they, they just about fall over and die. Because what we decided to do is we decided to get a patent on this, this whole area. Protection of memorabilia and collectibles with any counterfeiting and blockchain. And it's filed, baby. Oh, yeah. Really good. And we're about to launch the first of two phases with this product. Okay. Phase one is digital collectibles. I'm just going to show you a little... This is kind of how it works. This is how the digital collectible process works. First of all, we sign up a celebrity, and the celebrity either has a cool picture or a poster or whatever, and they decide, okay, step step one, step two, okay, here's the picture or the whatever. The next step that we take, step three, we actually send a shoot team in, like a film team, like, really cool team and they go to the house of the celebrity and they do a behind the, the scenes video about this collectible and the celebrity gets to talk about the collect collectible and why they love the picture and why it's special to them and then right in front of the camera they sign the collectible so the buyer knows it's for real and the second thing is the celebrity then signs a certificate of authentication and they hand those two things to our shoot team, and the shoot team leaves, puts it in a special security pouch, sends it to us, and then we digitize both documents. And then we do a limited availability run, maybe 1,000 limited edition, maybe 5,000, maybe 10,000. The celebrity makes a nice fat royalty. Boy, are they happy. And they're so happy that they promote and part of our whole deal before we'll sign a we'll do a collectible with them is they're going to promote the collectible to their huge fan base i just want to remind you the first thing i opened with today remember this remember this celebrity look how many likes she had 1.9 million fans guys and now it's she now promoting Digital Frontier News and CloudCoin, she now has 38,000 likes. That means hundreds of thousands of people have seen this picture, and it's only six hours. You get the idea? So the celebrities as part of the deal promote the digital collectible to millions of their fans. Guess what? I think we're going to sell those things out. Boom! And the ones that aren't sold out, we actually are building up a huge affiliate group that are about to have their own Celebrium site. You're actually seeing what the face of the site is. This is wholly owned subsidiary of Digital Frontier Marketing. And people will be able to go to Celebrium, find their celebrity, click on the picture, and then they go to the Celebrium page, which shows not only the collectible, but you see that little section on the right-hand side? That's a video. They get to watch this cool video where they learn about all about this great collectible and they see it signed and all that good stuff. Now, all these affiliates are going to have their own Celebrium site. And what does that mean? We have celebrity, we have affiliates that have hundreds of thousands of, of, of subscribers. So the coin, so the so what then happens is the people that buy the collectible. They get them in a, in a wallet we're constructing right now powered by CloudCoin. And that wallet is going to give people access to everybody else who has these wallets. So they could buy and sell these collectibles between each other. What happens then? That means a market happens and the price of the tokens or the collectibles go up, 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 up. And then when the affiliate guys start pushing Celebrium, the price goes up, 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 up. Now, what I didn't tell you is that when we do 5,000 run of these collectibles, we're only going to sell 4,000 initially. And we're going to hold on to 1,000 of those suckers. So when that price goes up, 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 then guess what we can do? 
we can take a portion of those collectibles and give them to our investors. And we can sell the other portion to fund operations. So I just want you guys to understand that Digital Frontier Market is not just, I mean, yeah, we're a pretty cool company and we're doing info products. And I don't even tell you how much what we're doing with that. And that's a whole nother marketplace. But one last thing, parting thing on this. When people, these affiliates, we already have 1,300. We have one of the best Facebook marketers in the world. And she's going to be she's going to be recruiting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of these affiliates to sell the digital collectibles powered by CloudCoin and then another level of security with blockchain. But as we in each country, we get a whole bunch of affiliates that are selling the CloudCoin based collectible. As we get uh, a lot of people in a country we then start identifying which countries will allow affiliates to sell and make commissions on cloud coins. So we'll literally be lighting up country after country after country. And what does that do? That dramatically increases the distribution of cloud coin. And as we get other coins, we're going to be able to have our affiliates, thousands of them, not just sell the collectibles, but sell coins. How's that? So I want you to write this down real quick. I want you to write down my email address. This is, um, this, this is why so many people have been emailing me ever since I did the webinar last night, emailing over the uh, all last night and the morning and all day today, because this is our one last chance. So if you want to get involved with this, and be an investor and get coins distributed constantly and have ownership in a patent that we believe is, I don't even want to tell you how much we think it's going to be worth, but a lot. You need to email me at bob at digitalcurrencygrowth.com. Bob at digitalcurrencygrowth.com. I will then send you the directions, okay? Because you're going to go to True Crowd, because we're this is a this is a company that does crowdfunding that's regulated by the Security Exchange Commission, and we're going to send you here. And on the lower right hand, left hand side, you're going to see Digital Frontier Marketing. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to see a whole little pitch page all about us. And on the on on the lower right hand side, you're going to see a little slide bar. And you can read all about us and learn about us. Okay. And then after that, you're going to get all excited. You're going to see a green button on the upper right hand side. You're going to click on that, invest. And what you have to do is you have to become a tr free, free True Crowd member. So you're going to have to log in, get up, you're going to have to join as a member and um, join as a True Crowd member, get in there, and then it's going to walk you through the investment in digital frontier marketing okay so email me at bob at digitalcurrencygrowth.com here's the deal the crowdfunding lasts only 29 more days or when we hit the maximum number of investors that we can take and judging on what happened last night and this morning and during the day we're going to hit that well before i believe the 29 days because right now I've only promoted this to our, uh, you guys, two webinars, that's it. Uh, either tomorrow or Saturday, I then send this out, this recording you're listening to right now. I'm going to send that out to 6,200 subscribers to Digital Frontier News, who are all people who are crypto buyers. So 